It is now our duty as free staters to build that shining state on a hill and invite others to it. ShireSociety.com Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. Perhaps it is only sentient nature to view the place where one is as the center of the metaverse, however unimportant it and one may be in the overall scheme. Certainly it cannot be denied that you are sometimes the uh, 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 physically in the center of these United States. But um, there are powerful uh, perhaps decisive reasons why the gaze of uh, the libertarian is better fixed upon New Hampshire and not the imperial seat at Washington, not scattered about the several, uh, now several dozen, forcibly united states, and certainly not the authoritarian uh, spit pit at New York. There is a a great lot to be said for the shining city on a hill, sending its freedom example to all, setting it for all. It need not, uh, and in fact should not be, a large city. It should be, mm, what should it be? It should be, uh, mm, it should be, and is, a small state. Mm. Small state. Oh yes, uh, following as we uh, as we have been, our own advice to move here. It is now our duty as free staters to build that shining state on a hill, and invite others to it, who we perceive would be beneficial for it, and benefiting from it. Mr. Koch, this is your invitation. Commonly ranked as roughly America's second freest and third safest state, while New York generally positions as its most authoritarian, New Hampshire is surely a better place for you in some ways. We cannot, of course, claim that it is, um, pardon, pardon. we cannot, of course, claim that it is better in all. Perhaps for you personally, it is not even better in most. Groupings of humans in the concentrated areas do make things possible, which cannot be done in our villages. Or can they? But you are not a stranger to the building up of great things in forgotten places, or the importance of making change that will outlive you. What would be possible for you to accomplish politically in a small region opposed, or more probably welcomed, only by governments which are perhaps no more potent than you? The fabulously, <clears throat> although uh, perhaps less fabulously moneyed, Bitcoinist, Mr. Finton, of Atlantic Financial, has already perceived this and completed his relocation here. His actions since do not appear to have been unusually taxing, but we suspect he is, uh, he is changing the world in... Uh, manners just as effectively as you, and with less, much less. This perhaps is simply because he is focusing his energies on the laser point at the free coast, and the more virtual but promising laser point of the cryptographic revolution. It is vain to peer through the veil of kilometers 
or by their hundreds, an attempt, endeavour, to know your mind from a single ancient discussion and a researching of what is publicly known of you. Only you can know if a place like this is a place for you and what characteristics it must evidence to be such. But the discovery of a new concept or possibility can be an intoxicating potion for even those who imagine they lack nothing. Maps acquire a new luminescence, neighborhoods a novel and shining aura of possibility. Two thousand Liberty lovers have moved to New Hampshire for the Free State Project. But there's a saying, my saying actually, united we stand, divided we rise. If you think the Free State Project is too centralized or restrictive, join the Shire Society instead. They're also recruiting people to move to New Hampshire, but they're decentralized and have no board of directors. ShireSociety.com